check out this super nice blacked out front emblem for your ZL1 Camaro. If you're tired of looking at it, the ugly chrome OEM emblem, let's go ahead and get this thing changed out with this very nice blacked out option from Laser Creations. Welcome everyone to the Derpzilla channel. And for today, as mentioned, I will be replacing my front grille OEM Chrome ZL1 emblem with this matte black variation from Laser Creations. I wanted to point out some uh, differences between the OEM and the Laser Creations style. This is actually a laser etched version, so it's relatively flat, doesn't have any depth or 3D effect to it. Uh, so mostly your difference is gonna be between the lettering, which is a matte, and then the glossy background. The OEM emblem, if you're familiar with these, is more of a 3D, and these are individual uh, letters and number actually mounted to the grill. Now we'll take a look at what's behind there and how this is mounted. It's just an adhesive 3M style tape, double-sided tape, and this also is mounted with 3M tape, but this is just one solid piece, whereas these, I believe, are three individual, you know, a Z, L, and a one. These are individual, so you have to remove these individually. Now, the real reason that I am wanting to swap this out is because I already have blacked out emblems on the rest of the car. As you can see here, these are already blacked out. Normally these are chromed out just like the front grille, but these are relatively uh, easy to find, uh, you know, on Fast Tech, Wild Hammer, Amazon, and you can get these swapped out pretty easily. Also have them on the rear of my car. Walk back here, take a quick look. And you can see here, also blacked out. So really, the only spot that's not blacked out on my entire car is the front grille. So it kind of sticks out, it's a little out of place. And we'll circle back around here. That's why I wanted to find a solution to go with for the front grille to kind of tie everything together and have you know a universal theme for the car. Unfortunately, the options for your front grille are you know quite limited. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do to get the replacement emblem in place. And we can go ahead and get this thing installed. I'm over at my workbench and I actually have my old front lower grill of my Camaro ZL1. This is the standard ZL1 lower grill. And I actually replaced this with a ZL1 1LE lower grill to kind of tie in my ZL1 1LE front end conversion I did a while back. You can check out those videos up here. Uh, if you're interested on the whole conversion process when I went with carbon fiber, but I wanted to kind of give you a quick demonstration of what you need to do to actually replace this emblem. It's fairly straightforward. If you've ever replaced emblems on your car, this is pretty much the same deal. These emblem letters are actually held into place with a double-sided adhesive. And then on the back side, we have these alignment pegs. So each of these uh, letters and number actually have an alignment, a couple of alignment pegs to hold it and center, I guess. So when they do these install, at the factory, these can actually be you know, nice and straight without any kind of issues. Now, what we're gonna need to do is get a heat gun. You know, whatever heat gun, I'll have some links for some, some of the stuff I work with here in the description. We're gonna wanna heat up the emblem, just to make sure you don't get super crazy and you know real close to it or super hot and actually melt anything or warp any of your stuff. You wanna get it nice and hot, just so the adhesive kind of comes a little bit uh, undone. And you can use something like dental floss or whatever and you're gonna get a nice long strand of dental floss and you're working behind your letters and so you can peel these off and pop this off. Once you pop your letters off, you wanna clean it up with some goo gone or something like that, get a nice clean surface. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you do pop these off kind of straight towards you because of those alignment pegs. You're not gonna be able to really peel to the side or anything like that. And then once we have all that off, if you notice the laser creations emblem does not have an alignment peg. So you wanna make sure when you install it, you just wanna line it up as good as you can. You don't want a crooked emblem, you know, you don't wanna be <laughs> driving around like this. You want to get it lined up nice and neat. You're going to then get it nice, a little bit warm, peel off the backing strip, get the uh, adhesive uh, warmed up a little bit so it gets you know, an extra, extra good grip. And we're just going to go ahead and tack it in place, hold it down for a few minutes so it's nice and bonded. And then we can go ahead and uh, call it good. Now, you don't need to take your grill off of your car to do this. Uh, I'm going to actually be installing this on the lower grill on my vehicle with the grill in place. This is just so you can see everything nice and up and close of what you need to do. And we can go ahead and get this new matte black emblem installed. Over at the car, got my trusty heat gun, a little bit of dental floss. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the heat and see if I can get these emblems to come off without a lot of difficulty. Shouldn't be super difficult because they are relatively small. So we'll see how it goes.
as you can see, they popped right off. Very minimal effort, a little bit of heat, and they just came off. Didn't leave really any residue. Um, <laughs> that was easier than I actually thought. So I'm gonna go get the new matte black emblem, line her up. Of course, there's no alignment pins on the back of it, unfortunately. We're gonna get this thing installed and see how it looks. Matte black emblem, ready to go. Go ahead and get the backing tape off here. And see how she goes. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of heat. Make sure you have this uh, area wiped down. I already wiped it down. And we'll see if I don't fall down. And if I can get this thing installed. Oh no. Emblem is in place and may have noticed, but <laughs> I actually tried to reposition it and it cracked. So it cracked actually uh, right by the L here. Can't really see it, it just popped. I just kind of snapped it back into place and, and tacked it down. Uh, but it's very small little crack, but uh, you can't really see it. So just be super careful, this thing is very fragile. <laughs> Lesson learned on that. Now I know you once you tack it down, you wanna just go with it. Um, but it's mostly aligned, I don't know, not perfect, but it uh, looks pretty good overall. Um, you know, if you don't like the non-3D look of the emblems popping out of the grill a little bit more, you might not like the style, but you know, this kind of goes with my other emblems. So for me, it's a decent trade-off. I'm gonna go ahead and get up off the ground and back over to my workbench and we'll close this out. The installation is complete. As you can see, super easy, super quick process, especially getting these old emblems. These just pop right off with really no effort, as you can see. Uh, the new one went on very smoothly, but don't make my mistake. You must be very careful that once you actually even begin to tack down the new emblem, if you try to reposition it, there's a good chance you're going to damage it because there's not much material between the, uh, the letter, especially the L from the top and bottom where mine actually cracked when I went to reposition it. Once I tacked it back down in a place where I wanted it centered up, um, you can't really see the crack, so it's not a huge deal, but you, of course you don't want to damage your brand new emblem, uh, which you just purchased and waited for. So don't make my mistake. And uh, I'll have the link in the description for the website where I picked it up. I actually bought it from a guy who was actually selling it on the Camaro Facebook group, but he does have a website, lasercreations.com, I believe it is. I'll have the link in the description for that. Um, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. And the thing overall, I think it looks really good. It kind of blends in with my other emblems. Um, only thing I don't like, of course, is it's relatively fragile and it doesn't have that dimensions like the normal emblems where you can see some depth on these. Uh, this is a flat, pretty much piece of some kind of flexible plastic that he mostly looks like he just etches with a laser. And that's how you get the uh, offset between the gloss and the mat. And uh, so overall, you know, if, if a flat type emblem is not your, you know, your cup of tea, you know, we might want to go to, you know, look somewhere else. Fortunately, there's not a ton of options for your front grill for whatever reason, hard to find lettering or whatever for these. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. And uh, as always, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the page, all that fun stuff, comment, check out my web store if you like the hat, my ZL1 hat. I have a bunch of other merchandise, Camaro related, car related, uh, different other different topics at zilla.com slash shop, that's Z1LLA.com slash shop. Also have an Etsy page, zilla.com, .etsy.com. <laughs> That's actually all spelled out. And I'll have links up for everything in the description. Hope I see you guys on the next video. Have a good one. Peace.